tell me about yourself. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Safwan Ahmed. Uh, I currently work as a data scientist with uh, Amazon in uh, USA. I was born and raised in Pune, uh, where I went to school in the Bishop School, did my college from Ferguson, and then went to Siangar Academy of Engineering for my bachelor's in electronics engineering. And then uh, after that, I joined Infosys as a software engineer. And then after around two years in Infosys, that's when I started about what should my next step be. I was thinking about either going for an MBA or coming to US for a master's. And then that's when I decided to come to US for a master's where I went to Kelly School of Business, which is part of Indiana University. And they have a very well ranked course in master's in information systems. And that's where I did my master's from and specialized in uh, business intelligence and analytics. And then I started working with uh, Capgemini as a data science consultant. And then around three years ago, I joined Amazon. So that's a little bit about my work and educational experience. How did you prepare for your master's? Uh, to prepare for my master's, well, I think it was a lot of uh, research on the internet and self-study. And then I briefly spoke to other people who had pursued a similar path. But I would say a lot of it was, uh, there are some very good forums about what are the next steps you need to do for, to prepare for your, uh, to come to US. Mm -hmm. And there are several steps of it, right? One is, the first I would say is uh, identifying what's the course you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then once you've identified that, the next one is identifying which are the best universities to do that course from. Mm -hmm. And then the next is identifying the list of uh, requirements. You need to give entrance exams, you need to write your applications, you need to get recommendations and then bundle all that together and send that to a university and then you know you get started with the other steps where uh, you need to identify how you are going to fund your education how you're going to move to the u.s your living expenses all of that uh high school 11 12th i would say that was an interesting phase because uh till 10th you know you're in this environment where you are going to school, you have uniform, the fixed schedule, all of that. And then when I moved to college, it was a different uh, environment. Uh, and then it was it was uh, different in a way where in 10th, you had a single focus, right? You have to do well in your board exams. But uh, in your 11th, 12th, you're kind of pursuing two different goals. One is you want to do good in your 11th and 12th, but uh, the primary target in front of you is that you want to get good marks in the, the engineering entrance exam or the medical entrance exam. So uh, that's where uh, I was pursuing those two paths. And I'm, I would say that I probably paid a little less attention to my 12th uh, education and more towards the entrance exam for engineering. But I think now things have changed. Now there's, uh, there is weightage to your 12th uh, marks also. And so I would uh, recommend that the students now pay equal attention to both of them. How did your interest spark in becoming a data scientist and what steps you took towards it? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think it was around when I was two years into Infosys where I was trying to understand what are the different fields I could pursue. And then that's when a friend of mine, he introduced me to this field of Masters in Information Systems. And I started to read up more about it. I remember borrowing a few books, books from the Infosys library. And there was one particular book where there were a lot of in applications of data science of how data science can be used to make business impact to improve the decision making in a wide variety of fields you know, starting from regular business and all the way going to even sports and there was this mention about uh, this baseball team in usa and how they used statistics and data science to identify what are the to select the right players and then how they ended up winning the championship in i think the next year after that uh, and then that's how i got introduced to this field which was it, it, it has a mix of, uh, you know, engineering, math, statistics, applications, but I think it was really the impact uh, of that field that really drew me to it. What skills do you think is needed to become a data scientist? And do you already have those or you worked hard to excel in it? Uh, I would say to become a data scientist, uh, there are several skills that uh, come into play. Uh, I think at the foundation of it, uh, mathematics and statistics definitely play a big role and then there are a wide range of algorithms that come into play such as regression classification uh, but the foundation of that is really in uh, maths and science 
But then in addition to that, what you need is uh, once you understand these concepts, the next step is how to implement those. And in order to implement those, that's where you need to get more familiar with uh, more softwares, more programming languages. For example, the two most commonly used languages for data science are Python and R. Uh, so that's definitely needed. Uh, a few other things that come in handy are once you have created these things, how do you visualize the results? So that's where some of the more uh, reporting and business intelligence tools like Tableau, Power BI are also helpful. Uh, coming to the second part of the question, uh, I did not have many of these skills needed uh, in order to become uh, good at this, uh, especially at, I think the mathematical foundations were definitely there, but there's a lot of things from statistics and regression, all of these things that I wasn't very familiar with. And that's why as I was doing my master's, I was also simultaneously doing online courses so that I could learn those things. And then also uh, a few other things where uh, I did not know Python or R. Earlier they weren't part of my curriculum. And then that's also something that I did additionally on the side. Uh, to get myself more familiar with and the the best thing nowadays is you have so many online courses on so many different portals where you can do so much of this for free you can get good at python you can learn tableau power bi you can learn the fundamentals of data science that even before you decide to go for a master's you can do some small courses to identify if uh, you really like this particular course and if uh, let's say data science would be something that would interest you uh, what are the advice that you would like to suggest to our 10th and 12th children? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think for the students currently in 10th or 12th, uh, I mean, definitely one of the most important advice is that this is a, it's a very crucial time. So it's important to uh, make sure you put your best foot forward, uh, do the best because uh, the education system is kind of centered around it, right? You get good marks in 10th, you get good admission in 12th, and then your marks in 12th player role uh, going forward. So it's definitely important to get good grades there. Uh, but I would say additionally, uh, what would really help is as you are in that period, it would help to talk to many people and talk to people from different fields, talk to engineers, talk to doctors, talk to people who are working in finance and marketing uh, to understand what are the different jobs people are actually doing. Because what happens many times is people do start, let's say, in engineering, but then end up in different disciplines. Someone might start studying, let's say, about mechanical engineering and then end up doing a job in marketing. Uh, and then this was in my case too, right? When when I, when I was in 10th, it was like I had already decided, okay, I want to do engineering and I didn't really give a lot of thought to other fields it's like the only options in front of me were medicine and engineering. But now that I think of it, there are just so many professions out there. And uh, what would have really helped is, especially through these sessions, like I am uh, giving my piece of advice. I'm pretty sure there are other people who are talking to you all from finance, marketing, uh, on and all these other domains. And uh, if you do, I think that some of these fields are what interest you, then I would highly recommend that you talk to people because getting a sense of, where you actually end up and what needs to be done. I think that would be uh, very helpful for you. And then most importantly, I think something that uh, one of my uh, Arabic, uh, I used to take these Arabic classes and one of my teacher, uh, he asked the students, you know, what is the thing that you really need uh, to excel in something? And everyone gave different answers. Like you need to be hardworking, you need to do X and you need to do Y. But then uh, he used this Arabic word that he said, what you really need is Junoon. Junoon is kind of, uh, this madness to achieve something and then you put in all your effort to get that so i would say that's something you definitely need but then i would add two more things to that uh, one is uh planning right so that your madness is focused in the right way and then the other i would say is being persistent having uh, so this is something you don't need this just for one day or for a week you need to do this throughout a long period of time so you need that madness coupled with a uh, strong planning and along with that you do that persistently day over day so that you can achieve your goal so i would say definitely keep uh, track of those three things uh, and inshallah you'll succeed with your goals